fives. We've seen a rock this past month at a congregation in town. Now it's uh, spray paint that's really vulgar. An act of hatred against a house of worship. For the second time in recent weeks, a synagogue is targeted by vandals. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brooke Wagner. And I'm Dan Mari's Local rabbis are on edge this latest act, which is similar to other incidents on Jewish houses of worship around the country. As KOLD News 13's Mega McNeil explains, this is something religious leaders say is happening far too often. Members at Chabad on River started their week with a very unsettling anti-Semitic message spray painted across their door. But their rabbi and others around town say they're not going to let this scare them. But our message to fellow Jews is don't be afraid of your Judaism. This is not the time to back down. This is not the time to be afraid. This is not the time to be embarrassed of who you are. A swastika and ethnic slurs spray painted on an injury door. A message found Monday morning by a member of the congregation who was heading to a class. The center's director, Rabbi Ram Bigelman, says whoever did this cut a hole in the fence behind the synagogue. It's very disturbing. We feel unsafe and um, we're really not sure what's going on over here. He says this is not the first time his synagogue has been targeted. He estimates at least 10 times in the last several years something similar has happened. Just a few weeks ago, a rock thrown through a glass door at another synagogue in town. Sadly, it's a new reality we're living uh, in. Uh, we've seen these this rise across America. Uh, there was some upward 70% increase in anti-Semitism around the country and we're one more, sadly. The Tucson Police Department says they are investigating the incident as a vandalism crime concerning Saitlin with what he says is clearly a hate crime. TPD is looking for any connections to other crimes in the area and is asking for the public's assistance. The synagogue says the FBI has also been in touch. The person that did this or people that do such things, they're motivated by a very strong feeling of hate of obviously ignorance as well. My question is what happens next? And I'm really concerned about that. Now the synagogue here says they're going to be increasing their security systems they have in place just to be on the safe side. Likely some other synagogues around town will be doing the same. Reporting here in Tucson, Megan McNeil, KOLD News 13. The Jewish Federation and Jewish Community Foundation of Southern Arizona released a statement saying in part, quote, these horrendous anti-Semitic acts will not be tolerated and there is no place for hatred in our community. Governor Doug Ducey tweeted out his response saying, quote, anti-Semitism has no place in Arizona and those responsible should be held accountable. Megan McCain retweeted his response. And Tucson Mayor Regina Romero tweeted, quote, this will not be tolerated in our diverse and welcoming city. I ask all Tucsonans to join me in standing up and raising awareness on anti-Semitism in all of its forms.